Let's have a lecture video in differential calculus under the topic derivatives logarithmic functions. Now here are the uh, formulas or patterns that we will use in solving derivatives of logarithmic functions. The first one we have there the derivative of logarithm to the base a of u is equal to the derivative of u over u ln a or natural logarithm of a where a is constant now for the derivative of ln u or natural logarithm of u the answer will be derivative of u over the u now for the derivative of logarithm to the base 10 of u the answer will be m derivative of u over u where m is also called the modulus of common logarithm or logarithm of 10 or logarithm or to the base 10 of e that is equal to 0.43429 or simply you just write m okay here are the examples find the derivatives of the following now the first one will be find the derivative of ln of 7 minus 3x so to answer this we will need the pattern for the derivative of ln u the answer will be derivative of u over the u so here in the example our u here is 7 minus 3x therefore the derivative of u here is equal to derivative of 7 is 0 minus derivative of 3x that is 3 so the derivative will be negative 3 now using the pattern so dy now is equal to the derivative of u which is we got as negative 3 and the u which is 7 minus 3x and that is the answer so that is the number 1 now for number 2 we have here find the derivative of logarithm to the base 10 of sine x over a and the pattern that we will use here is the derivative of logarithm to the base 10 of u is equal to m derivative of u over u and also since we are looking here at a trigonometric function the derivative of sine u is equal to cosine u derivative of u from the example here now uh, we will be following this pattern now for the derivative for the uh, du dx here since we will be needing the du dx the u here in the problem of in the example since we have this logarithm of 10 as this portion here the, therefore the obvious u is sine x over a so our u here is sine x over a and the derivative of u here is so the derivative of sine u we have there cosine u derivative of u the u for this here is x over a so following the pattern we have here cosine x over a and the derivative of this x over a here is 1 a 1 over a so du is equal to 1 over a cosine of x over a so that is the du substituting you see this pattern again so dy now is equal to so we have here the m we will write here the m the du dx which is 1 over a cosine x over a all over then we have there u and our u here is sine x over a okay then 
we have here m over a cosine x over a all over sine x over a now we can simplify this order what is cosine over sine if sine theta over cosine theta is equal to tangent theta then what is the opposite here what is cosine theta over sine theta that is cotangent so the final answer will be m over a cotangent of x over a okay so all, oh, by the way I forgot to write a is constant that is for number two. Now, how about for number three? Find the derivative of ln of square root of a squared minus x squared. So, the pattern we will use here is <clears throat> for the derivative of ln u, we need the derivative of u first over the u so here in the problem using this looking at this portion on the left side we have the ln therefore the u here is the square root of a squared minus x squared so u is equal to square root of a squared minus x squared now for the derivative of u here we will be following this pattern. Okay? For the derivative of square root of u, the answer is the derivative of u over 2 square root of u. Okay? So, du now here is equal to the derivative of what is inside if a is equal to constant therefore this is 0 minus 2x all over 2 square root of a squared minus x squared okay then we can cancel out 2 so what's left will be negative x all over square root of a squared minus x squared okay so that is for the du now using now the pattern here so finally we got the value for du dx so for the derivative of omega that is now equal to the du dx so let's put it here for the du dx we have their negative x all over square root of a squared minus x squared all over du which is square root of a squared minus x squared. Okay. Then, we are dividing a fraction. So, we will rewrite the numerator negative x. Oh. a squared minus x squared multiplied with the reciprocal of the numerator so that is 1 over square root of a squared minus x squared so if we multiply that we have their negative x and then what happens with this portion here what happens here is since that is one half so we have we will put it like this if we are using here x one half multiplied with x one half what happens is that the exponents will add up. So what is 1 half plus 1 half? That becomes 2 over 2. So the answer here will become 1. So a squared minus x squared raised to 1. Or simply we just put it that way. Or if I can also accept it as like this. Okay. So that is the answer for example number 3.
Finally, we have the example number 4. So, that's a bit uh, longer. So, let's solve this one by one. <clears throat> what is the derivative of x ln of a squared plus x squared plus 2a arctan of x over a minus 2x where a is equal to constant. Yes, this is a bit long, but we can subdivide the solution so for to get the derivative of y we get to derive first this portion get the solution for this second portion and then lastly we have the third portion so the derivative of the first portion plus the derivative of the second portion and the derivative of the third portion will be the derivative that we are looking for so let's have it this way so we have there dy is equal to the derivative of the first portion dy1 plus the derivative of the second portion plus the derivative of the third portion okay so let's do just that for the first portion let's have y1 is equal to x ln of a squared plus x squared. So, this is our first portion here. So, we are going to use here the derivative of ln u. Then, that is equal to du dx over u. Also, since this is separate, this is our u and then v, therefore, we will be using the uh, product derivative of a product, which is uv, u dv over dx plus v du over dx. Okay. So, here we have d. derivative of y1 dy1 now is equal to x derivative of ln a squared plus x squared using the pattern so the derivative of u this is the u so we have their derivative of constant plus x squared all over the u <clears throat> plus ln of a squared plus x squared then derivative of x okay. then that is equal to 2x squared all over a squared plus x squared plus ln of a squared plus x squared so that is for the first portion <clears throat> next we have the second portion the second portion is y2 is equal to 2a arctan x over a now here the pattern that we are going to use since this is already constant so we can we, we can uh, eliminate using the derivative of a product so we can just go to the derivative of the arc tangent so the derivative of arc tangent u is equal to du dx over 1 plus u squared so let's use that pattern in solving for the second portion here so dy2 is equal to 2a and then we have there the derivative of arctan x over a so first will be the derivative of its u the u of arctan which is x over a so the derivative of x over a is 1 over a over 1 plus the u squared which is x over a squared 
okay so that is equal to so what is 2a times 1 over a so that becomes 2a over a will over 1 plus x squared over a squared <coughs> so we can cancel out a there so the answer there will be 2 all over and then this becomes a squared plus x squared so that all denominator will be a squared since we are dividing a uh, fraction here, okay. so let's write down the numerator multiplied with the reciprocal of the denominator, which is a squared all over a squared plus x squared. That is equal to 2a squared all over a squared plus x squared so dy2 now here is equal to 2a squared all over a squared plus x squared so that is for dy2 for the for dy3 the, the third portion the y3 is negative 2x therefore dy3 is equal to negative 2 so taking all of the answers therefore dy is equal to dy1 our dy1 here is 2x squared all over a squared plus x squared Then, we have there plus ln of a squared plus x squared. Then, for y2, dy2 plus 2a squared all over a squared plus x squared. Wait, it is positive. Yeah, it's correct. So, it is positive. Then, Lastly, we have dy3, which is negative 2. Okay? I think we got them all together now. Huh? Yeah, I think so. Okay? Then, since looking at this portion here, they have the same denominator. So, we can add up the numerator. Their numerator is 2x squared plus 2a squared all over a squared plus x squared plus ln of a squared plus x squared minus 2. Then this is actually 2 a squared plus x squared. So we just uh, uh, bring out the 2 a squared plus x squared plus ln of a squared plus x squared minus 2 since we can cancel this out so 2 plus ln of a squared plus x squared minus 2 cancel out 2 because that is 2 minus 2 so the final answer for dy is ln of a squared plus x squared so this is for number 4 okay so a bit lengthy solution but if you're looking at it carefully we just all we need to do is to divide uh, or to um, uh, derive them separately and then put it all together okay that's it for the uh, logarithmic functions